just uh, scooting along. This is kind of a neat spot here just because there's two different utilities and you can see the one we're inspecting goes under. So that's an opportunity for uh, disaster if uh, you don't have some of the sense and avoid capabilities of Skydio and, and their obstacle avoidance. So this is where we started. We came up through here. That new section of line was right here. Then we went to the left, captured all of those, and now we're working our way back this way. You know, we kind of have a, a self-imposed goal of, of 10,000 poles in, in one week. So we're about 54% done as of last night. So Firmatech, back in the late 80s, they were, you know, using ground surveys to get volumetrics for a lot of our mining clients. So they started dabbling in some laser scanners to count rocks essentially, right? And then it's like, hey, well, what if we can fly this over here instead of having to drive it around or walk it around? That was kind of where we started dabbling in drones back in, in 2013. And it rapidly became a staple in, in our toolbox as far as, you know, how we collect data and then, you know, what we do with the data on the back end. Google Earth said there was a road right behind us, but there isn't. <laughs> Lies. Yeah. Fake news. Uh, I'm inspecting the pole top, uh, pole top rot, bad insulators, missing washers, bolts, nuts. That next pole down, the one right there, that has that glass insulator on top. That's original, original, original right there. For the most part, most utilities don't inspect the tops of the poles because it's pretty labor intensive. And the legacy kind of methodology is a guy in a bucket truck. So setting up on each pole, but that's very time consuming, right? These are obviously right along the side of a road. So access isn't necessarily an issue, but back there at the corner where that line cut across, that's across the pasture. So now you got gates, you got to open and close off-road conditions. When you start getting into some of those more rural areas, the time on target is already significantly higher. So you're looking at like 15 to 20 minutes to get that good thorough inspection, which is gonna be the most comparable to what we're doing with a drone. And you can see how fast we're going. I mean, you're looking at, you know, 20 to 30 seconds per pull. And it's difficult to see on the controller. So having that secondary checkpoint of Skydio to maintain that level of safety while flying is, is imperative. And on top of that, you're getting good detailed imagery of each pole top. So your distributed assets are now being documented. All those images are geotagged, lat long. So they're assigned to that particular asset. So you're starting to build at that point, a library of your distributed assets. So we'll come back in four to five years, inspect the same line again. We'll have that library of images from the last time we inspected and now we can start comparing those images. The data that we're pulling not only gives decision makers the information to start making better business decisions, but also gives them the data to start projecting on projects coming down the pipeline. So, a bunch of fun stuff. Yeah. Fun little Snapple facts. Honestly, I don't think I could crash that if I tried. Got caught in the trees. I couldn't personally get out, but then I just pressed return home and the drone actually got itself out. So. The drone's actually probably a better pilot than I am, but yeah, it was really cool. We rely so much on electricity. Even a, an hour worth of outage time is just gonna be unbearable for the end customer. I never call the utility unless my power is out. And my overall satisfaction with the utility is generally 100% satisfied if I never have to reset 12 clocks in my house. So when you start looking at how that translates and benefits and with more and more things having electronic components and relying on you know, electricity as a whole, we can now provide the utility with an overwhelmingly efficient way to make sure that the reliability metrics are met. I'm not gonna do too much math in public, but if you wanna kinda dive into what that ROI looks like, if you're safe and you have reliable power, then you know your customers generally are gonna be super happy with the service that you're providing them. 
So, boom, you got the hatchet of KPIs in one turnkey application. Are you planning on you plan on getting this bird back today or, or can I use it the rest of the day? <laughs> do I get that much? I do. 